takes a pretty significant event to bring all the Automotive Trends editors together, but we're at the Detroit Auto Show because they don't come much bigger than this. So, we've assembled, we're ready, we got a lot of things uh, in store tomorrow for the first day of press preview, but tonight we want to take a look through what we know we're going to see and kind of speculate about a few others. So, to get us started with that, tonight um, on we're the gonna... eve of the Auto Show, we actually got the new Corvette C7 right. debut. And uh, it's an aggressive package, for sure. What do you guys think? I think uh, someone from the Viper team uh, spilled some beans because that whole front end is, well, th let's just say they're a little bit similar. Mm. Yeah, in the headlights, when you're looking straight on the headlights and this general yeah, deal, the, but the, the details the are all The big mouth grill. I don't know. This is sufficiently Chevy where the, where the SRT Viper you know, carries the Dodge tradition on very, very nicely. Right, with the crosshairs and whatnot. They are bringing the Stingray name back, though, for this now. Yes. They're calling it the Corvette Stingray. So there's a nice little emblem here, actually, on the on the front fender. A couple new air uh, intakes up here. Um, kind of an odd place for the, I'm assuming it'd be the brake duct, uh, or the brake air duct cooling system. We don't have a lot of details on it yet, no. except no. for we do know L, uh, the LT1, 450 horsepower, Correct. and a uh, seven-speed manual transmission True. Um, coming Quick along here. View. Big changes in the profile for Corvettes of the yeah. last few generations. Where I they almost add feel the it's, window. Uh, there's a slight bit of, well, I think we discussed it, like a little bit of Ferrari 499 in there. 599. 599, excuse me. Uh, and then I see just a little bit of Nissan GTR at the rear end. But otherwise... The overall shape is the same. Well, the <laughs> overall profile is very... <laughs> I mean, it, it's very similar profile to C6. It's just the elements inside are completely yeah. different. And it's very, very busy. Yeah, I think maybe the, that's I think it. the I think the neatest design element on the entire car is the emblem. <laughs> <laughs> it's very busy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get all the details, though, and we'll be bringing those to you tomorrow. You like I'm not a end? big fan of this. I've already been uh, whining to the guys about this tonight since we've seen these pictures that this is just not smart design in my mind, but um, but we'll, we'll get all the details tomorrow at the first day of the auto show and we'll we be reporting We do have an interior back. picture. Of That's course, better. We're expecting big changes in the interior. But anything would be better. Anything should be better than that. So, uh, we'll take a look at it tomorrow and we'll let you know what we find. And Lots one, of choices. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven... If no, I'm expecting on the C8 we'll get actually a splitter and then we'll, we'll <laughs> roll through those again. Oh, let's hope not. Yeah. All right, moving on. Lincoln MKC. Now, Lincoln's making a big push this year, uh, basically for the umpteenth time, reinventing themselves <laughs> again. Trying not to go under. Right. Um, all right, I think we're, we're all on board with the MKZ. It's, it's, it's an okay right product. Looking. It's a great product. Would have made a better Mercury. Yeah. It's but pretty it, distinctive in our eyes, from angles. Right. But, the rear especially. Yeah. Right. But what? imagine what the Lincoln LS would have been had it had 13 years of growing up to do. Yeah. Maturing. Maturing. And otherwise, no. Now she's dead. You know, I think the successful part of this, though, I wasn't expecting a lot, knowing that this is based on the... Uh, Escape. The C-Max escape platform, that kind yeah. of thing. You know, I don't see a lot of escape in this. This is pretty no, thorough. They, no, reason. not at all. They've done a good job making it very unique. I, I like the wheels. That's, you know, seven spoke. Um, Lincoln's got, got a tradition of wheels looking like that. Bulging fenders. Yeah, this, very is, attractive. this is pretty artful back here for SUVs by today's standards. And so, well, whatever you want to call this crossover. But... Um, you know, I think but, with this kind of fading roof line and everything, this is very Audi in here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I think they could almost make a extend this door, make a two-door version, and you'd have a direct competitor to the Land Rover Evoque with a two-door. And I think this four-door matches up pretty close with the Evoque. So we'll we'll take a look at that tomorrow too. But uh, out of the box, this might this is one of my bigger surprises. I wasn't expecting to. No, like that. No, like not that at all. I, I think we're all expecting to go. Meh, all right, nice. We're Next. expecting a, a mildly reskinned uh, escape, yeah. is right. what I think. And we this expected. is this is definitely close to production because I think we've got an interior picture here, and that oh, well, rear picture rear. actually fits, Again, which is looking good actually. Yeah, I but it highlights that. how Audi-esque that rear. Yeah, but is. if you're going to copy from someone, Audi is not a bad place to start. Granted. <laughs> 
Um, but this interior, interior, this interior looks like it could go into production tomorrow. Well, it's it's darn near lifted from the MKZ. So push, push button, button transmission. transmission. Uh, some nice artful details. Really like this work in here. Yeah, aside from like the chrome on the seats and yeah, uh, yeah it's but pretty much production. I think ready. we will be seeing that within the year. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we have here? Well, I, <laughs> this is supposed to be uh, the preview to the Infinity. Q50, which is the first of their new Q designations. I don't understand this. No, because... Now, Q means car or SUV? Q, uh, Q's car. QX is for their crossovers and SUVs. So the QX, okay. I think, starts well, at 50, 50, 60, 70, or maybe 40. And then we that, had the, it, Q50, the Q50, 50, 60... I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't it, know almost, it almost makes sense because originally, you know, one of the first Infinity, or the first Infinity was the Q45. The first I SUV like was one. the QX. Seven. No, no, QX. no. Yeah. It was the one based yeah, yeah, yeah. on the old path. Finder. Right, right, yeah. right, right. What was that? QX35? 50? 55? I think it was a Q 75? <laughs> Who knows? This is why you need to give your cars names. Yeah. yeah. Much more memorable. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yes, so the there's Infinity LEDs here. G37 is getting replaced. Long in the tooth. Great car. Had a good run. Right. The new and model is going to be called the Q50. And the we see it's going to have a headlight. Well, it'll have some <laughs> lighting here. Um, and we, we don't know much more about it at that point. But we'll find out tomorrow. We'll let you know. Um, so moving on to something we can see a bit more of. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, whole new E-Class. E and actually, the there's a lineup, rumor really. Mercedes is going to do a new oh. designation, some jumble. You people but. are not making this easy on us. Sorry, I had to vent. <laughs> uh, but no, we are going to see the new E-Class family. Right. Uh, coupe, cabriolet, the sedans, the wagons, uh, even the AMG version. I know, the AMGs are, yeah. We have a picture of that. This is looking well, pretty good, actually, up front. This is a very handsome car. Very aggressive. Uh, I'm not sure about that well, detail. Well, we've never really cared for the, the split no, window, window rear window. Thought. And again, this is based off of the C segment, the C class platform still so it's that's actually a very handsome front end i like that so it's a little shorter than the ease but uh, still done very well yeah here's the amg power uh, this looks turbo. like the grill off of a 1967 <laughs> oldsmobile cutlass really yeah i can yeah the the, the 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 uh <laughs> dumbbell shape okay. so bmw and mercedes copied old gm Oldsmobile. Old well, the big Old news Mobile here, though, with the uh, AMGs, actually, is that they're going to go to all-wheel drive. Um, well, and the, yeah. uh, the E63 is going to go to all-wheel drive to help and put that power CLS down. And the CLS 63 as well. Yeah. We're going to see that, too. So lots of product coming out of Mercedes, and we'll have to let you know what we find out there. There we go. This is the new whole family line, too, from Mercedes. It's called the CLA. Right. Um, going to be right down just under the C-Class lineup, actually, mm -hmm. at the moment, kind of starting in the low 30s, we believe. Um, this has a turbo four-cylinder, maybe uh, a bit of a surprise, but probably not knowing where we're headed with fuel economy. No, that's not a surprise. No Everyone's surprise. Expecting the bigger that. surprise might be that this is actually a front-wheel drive uh. Mercedes or available all-wheel drive. So take that uh, for what it's worth. But it's uh, certainly a good-looking little thing. It, Lots of style. Mercedes... Mercedes, no. Mercedes needs to be rear-wheel drive with all-wheel drive options. The only one who can pull off front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive is Audi. I don't believe that to be true. Mercedes Benz has had a front-wheel drive car for quite some time. Oh, true. The A-Class. Right. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. something, something Europe, that good-looking should power the rear wheels, period. Yeah, but it still looks front-wheel drive. That does look good. I'm not going to lie about it. Yeah, that. it's a good-looking front-wheel drive car. supposed to be quite a small car. For a front-wheel drive have to car. See. For a front-wheel drive car. It's hard to get and size And see, that's just it. Here. Right? Isn't Every that... time we, we talk about this car, we're going to have to make excuses for it. It's really good-looking. I used to make that For same, a front-wheel drive car. <laughs> but I used to make that same excuse for Audi. I don't anymore. Well, but that's because Audi's all-wheel drive. And Audi's no, drive. No, that has nothing to do with it. I used to make excuses for Audi. Audi finally developed a design that actually looks rear-wheel drive. I don't know why it's not. <laughs> yeah, because their engines are pointed the correct have, direction. We have an interior picture, though, and yeah. that, that's ah. a lot of style. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff, too. That's a lot too. of style. Well, yeah, but, like... What is this? <laughs> uh, 
That's it's, your, it's, uh, that's an iPad dock, apparently. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's navigation by Garmin. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, if that if that's going to come in in the, in the mid-30s or whatever, that I don't know. That's I like the why, steering wheel. Why don't, why don't they make these vents shaped Tri-stars? like a... I was just thinking that because you have a whole lot of that type it of going on. It just looks like that's what it should be. Yeah, Maybe that's too cliche. You can make that suggestion tomorrow when you see somebody from Mercedes. Yeah, all right. And... It, I'm sorry, but is that the I'll old tell command the system? Is that the, the analog dial? Am I seeing on this? Oh, I hope it's not the old <laughs> yeah, command. Never went That's well. That's enough to us. not buy the car. <gasps> BMW changing their naming yeah, system again. too. But now, this one's slightly more logical. Well, if they get everything switched over, it'll be all right. Yeah. But this is uh, a coupe version of the 3 Series, but they're now going to call it the 4 Series. Right, so, so it's not a coupe version of the 3 Series no, because I guess that would be... A three series coupe. I guess this, this is, is a four series. All new, even though it looks a lot like a three series. <laughs> yeah. um, but a very, very handsome looking car. Uh, this isn't quite production. I think they're going to show a thinly uh, kind uh, of the, the dumbbell yeah, grill again. To Grenand has been Oldsmobile done Cutlass. From That's looking way back good. when. Uh, it's looking good. Yeah, I like it. Is it just me, or does this have a slight more power bulge to the hood than the sedan? Well, remember, too, that this is a light concept. concept That's true. Too. So we'll true, see true. what production actually ends up looking like. The wheels probably won't be so ginormous. This is a taillight. With bubbles. <laughs> it does look like bubbles. Well, um, it's, it's the... Furia or Fura? Fura, I think. Toyota, Toyota Fura. 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 They had a Fura, Fura, Fura concept Fura. from last year, <laughs> which this looks like it's thinly disguised production of what I'm going to guess is the next Prius. What? Really? You think the you Prius think will be so? a notch back with yeah, a carbon that's fiber a pretty spoiler? Yeah, remember looking, last year? Well, the. Yeah, the but last HS year they gave us a concept. H hybrid was the Lexus version of the Prius, and that was a notchback. Well, the original Prius was a notchback, but do you think that. that they would abandon that, the fastback? I don't know. Liftback is what I'm Toyota guessing, calls it. I'm guessing that we're going to have a choice now. All right. I'm thinking this you is... Heard it here first. I'm, I'm thinking this is Prius. Ooh, what if it's a Prius coupe? I'm I don't know. Sure. I'm sure I won't like it we'll, anymore. We'll have to find out tomorrow. Yeah. What What uh, are we looking at? Now? Well, I just like you know the the shape of the rear. Tiller. No. <laughs> this. Yeah. You can't the, see the way that cuts. I mean, clearly that's for aerodynamics. We'll find out. It's, it's a tail light. Along. This has a lot of promise, actually. Hyundai, Hyundai. Hyundai HCD 14? Yeah. I think so. I remember yeah. the HCD 1. They, uh, it's been they, many years. It has. They've got a great looking greenhouse. I like here. the greenhouse. I like that it's very long. Um, it, I believe I mean, this is rear wheel drive. It looks like a, uh, A7, Audi A7 competitor. It does, with uh, that uh, very hatchbackish yeah. sedan profile can't tell a lot of they could completely screw this up and completely screw this up and ruin the whole thing but it, from what i can see <laughs> here and up it looks pretty good well maybe you only drive your car under moonlit nights then. maybe i'd be okay in that case all right we'll find out another one of those moonlit nights <laughs> <laughs> the lighting is very bad in these photo studios yeah. anymore <laughs> maybe uh, maybe they i don't know ran out of bulbs what is this supposed to be? Yeah. What, 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 what this, is, this is Nissan. This is the Nissan Resonance. So a concept of some sort. Right. Little crossover. I deal. think we're guessing that it's the Murano based on the a little bit of crossover uh, hatch if it's the Murano, wagon. Uh, if it's the Murano, I officially have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> we don't let Grenan talk about yeah. Nissan products anymore. Moving on uh, Lexus, to the Lexus. Ah, yes. I, this is bizarre. Yeah, this, yeah that's fair. They ha uh, Lexus is inviting some uh, serious design debate because they came out with this grill, which was controversial enough. Well, and now look where they're going with headlights. This is very interesting. And but, maybe not in a good But you way. cannot call it bland. <laughs> no, it's and not bland. And we have criticized them to no end about that up to this point. We can also criticize them for being ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not positive anybody was calling for headlights to well, be in multiple components. But either way, we'll find out. It's like you've said before. 
This the is Japanese, the production version. The Japanese styling has some very unique styling that looks good each if you, element. If you only look at the detail Right. By if you look at the whole thing, if you stand back, like we can in America because we have more wide open spaces, uh, sometimes I think some of the details are lost on us. We've got other views, though, don't we? What do we got? All right, that's, that's pretty that's, traditional. That's yeah, fine. That's Nobody's going to get upset I mean, the taillights, you know, kind of get pulled yeah, down they're fine. to it, but yeah, whatever, they're, they're drawn out. That's, that's all fine. Yeah. That's yeah, not. It's a little busy mm. in here. I don't know. I, this is. One of my. Looks like a fun steering Everything wheel. just looks <laughs> chunky. The yeah. last couple Lexuses I've driven, they all just feel chunky. I don't like the way they're doing The dash is chunky. Waste. The vents are non-imaginative. The center console is chunky. The steering wheel is chunky. I, I don't know. I just don't It'll feel like I'm part of the car. The ISS has always been, it's been left behind. Tight. Yeah, it's been left behind in the size category to directly well, compete with everything. Else. I've always felt, even from the first IS, that you know, to be a driver in there, you know, I had to be my size or smaller because yeah. you just felt it was, very It was tight. So tight. we'll see if they add a few inches to kind of can keep up with the the uh, class right. that's kind of getting larger. A, a larger. few inches would not be lost on me, I guess. That Cadillac. is a fuzzy, grainy photo <laughs> delivered to us by GM Media. Yeah, that's actually what they wanted us to show. Right. <laughs> this the is Cadillac the ELR. Right, which is the premium version of the Chevrolet Volt. Well, that powertrain, right, for sure. Right, the Voltec powertrain coupe, is finally migrating into two something door, else. Uh, Two-door coupe body, and um, we'll find out, I guess, it's supposed to look very much like the concept, which was a good-looking concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, so. my only, and you can't tell from this view, but it does have a pretty wicked front overhang, so it does look... It actually looked, the concept looked very mid-engine. Even yeah. though it's clearly not, yeah. Um, so it kind of it, it almost goes so far to the front wheel drive proportion that it begins to look mid, and then it kind of looks good. I don't know. It's I just wish they could stretch the wheelbase wheel out drive. just a, a skosh more and give it a little less overhang in the front. But we'll see. We'll see it in the flash tomorrow. Uh, actually, Tuesday. We'll see this one Tuesday. Okay. Uh, in the without morning. this without neat paint the, job. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Maybe that's. Maybe that's a new Maybe trend. that's the new wave. I don't know. They're going to have to do something with the headlights because I'm pretty sure that's not legal. Uh, this will be the Acura. Acura MDX concept prototype. Yeah. We know um, how Acura kind of rolls out a prototype and then like three months later the <laughs> Right. I mean, it's a out, pretty so. thinly disguised concept. Uh, but And um, we don't see much here yet again. We don't see much there, but what we do see looks pretty promising. Well, actually. that we saw the RDX last Yeah, things have improved January. a bit at Acura So lately. I'm expecting a larger, probably a little more gently uh, shaped car than the RDX. You know, not quite as... Looks like some aggressive air intakes, uh, though, down here. I yeah, think, but... I think they're cranking the sport up on that one. Yeah, well, it's still going to be a big crossover, so... We'll see. Yeah. Oh, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Mm. Yes. Well, North these American. are the finalists for North American Truck right. of the Year. Even Which is actually Truck and SUV of the Year now. Right. Um, though we don't have any, we have crossovers and a tall wagon. <laughs> well, that's a hatch. pickup. Well, I mean, SUVs. We don't oh, have any oh, SUVs, gotcha. okay. so we have right. crossovers. Okay. So we have, of course, uh, Ram 1500, Mazda CX-5, and Ford C-Max. Correct. Quite a diverse lineup. All right. All right. So, how are we going to do this? Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I will go first and say Ram 1500 is going to clean up this year. Ooh. Although, this Mazda is a great product. Just putting that out there. Uh, I'm, saying, I'm saying Ram 1500. Neat vehicle. This is, you know, being electric and everything is significant but i think the ram 1500 with its 25 miles per gallon on the highway with the eight speed automatic that's a, that's that's a huge market segment to be mm -hmm. um to be pushing the fuel economy that high in a segment that previously was only seeing about 22. so that's that's plus other refinements yeah available so. air ride suspension another first uh very very nice truck okay well i'm gonna dodge uh, the buck on this one. And I'm going to say Dodge? 
Uh, Ram, no, it's, it's not. Ram. Yeah, not Ram. Um, I'm going to go against both of you. And the CX-5 is great, but I feel it's a little bit too conventional for our panelists. And quite frankly, uh, I had to eat a shoe last time. <laughs> you voted <laughs> I, against the Ford. I voted against a Ford, um, th that being the Transit Connect. I still don't understand that one. I'd understand but it better than this. I, I'm, I'm thinking our panelists are going to pick the CX-5. No, not C, C-Max. No. Ford C-Max. <laughs> All right, so we've got two for the Ram and one and for the Mux C Max. Voting C -Max. I, I think it's just there's enough because it's hybrid, because there's electric. It just, I think. All right, we'll, well find Well, my out. second guess is that we're all wrong. And it goes with the CX-5? CX I can see that. We'll, we'll find oh, out. I can oh, see only that. because <clears throat> it's the one we didn't pick. Yeah. Well, yeah, but um, and it, it's great and all, and you can get a manual transmission, which I love, but you can only get it in three colors and with cloth. <laughs> We'd like a few more options, Mazda, if you're listening. Yeah. All right, car of the year. Fusion. Honda. <laughs> Honda Accord. I've been waiting a little while to say that. Ford Fusion, Cadillac ATS. Um, it sounds like we know that you're going with the Ford Fusion. Yeah. You're an and? No way I'm going with the Fusion. No way I'm going with the Accord. ATS. First car ever to really, really chase the three series and and, and yeah, get the and the journalists have been have been saying it's a better handling car than the current three series. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but people have done that before. I, uh, people have beat BMW at, at its own game before. Well, no, no, but no. I, I don't I, think I, our I, panelist I, is full of. But no. but but it's this car be... this car in ten years is going <clears> to <throat> be just another front wheel drive midsize sedan. No, yeah, but. This car, How is this car better than this car? That is a family car? sedan that stands out from the crowd. That I fall asleep at. This is at. already blending in. It's only significant no. because it's a big step forward because the old Fusion was bland. I'm still saying Not Fusion. bland, but conservative. It was conservative. Fun to drive after the 2010 fix. Re refresh. But anyways. Okay, what does Dai say? Yeah, what does he say? Um, I'm going to break the tie <clears throat> in favor of the ATS. Oh. I've supported it all along the way. I've just been impressed all around with what it offers. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten a chance to drive one yeah. here yet, but we're looking forward to uh, the day that we do. And uh, I just think it's such a strong product from a resurgent Cadillac that maybe they'll finally uh, reward them with the uh, car of the year. Um, the Fusion has stumbled a few with a few recalls, a few things like that. Um, not a lot of people like the My Ford Touch system. I think that hurts it a little bit. It does look great. Yeah, but it looks like an Aston Martin. The EPA numbers are good, although I've been hearing trouble uh, people having trouble meeting them. Um, After so Hyundai's we'll little see. bout, you start we'll wondering if. Now, uh, the automakers are doing the same thing. Uh, That's true. Everybody there is a, a good chance, knowing auto journalists as we <clears throat> do, and their perpetual love for the Honda Accord, which we, don't understand. we cannot to be understand, a strong contender as well. But really, this is a, this is a pretty good feel. I could see it really going either way. Um, so I'm calling ATS, um, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. And uh, actually, we'll be covering a lot of things from the show floor. Um, Tomorrow, we're going to try to bring you uh, more video than we've ever done before. And, uh, of course, all the photography that we're known for. And uh, we'll get the details on some of the things we showed you tonight, and we'll report back uh, here tomorrow. So keep it tuned to AutomotiveTrends.com. We will see you from Kobo. Sound check number 7,016. <laughs> I am talking way over here on this side. I'm over here on this side. I'm in the middle, so I don't think it makes any difference. No, that's really not. Okay, let's see if this made any difference, but I don't think it will. I think.